All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, the Rock, and Thou Wash That's all praise to the Most High. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the inhabitants of the earth we greatly call Jesus Christ. You know, so we are the Hebrew Israelites, and we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked society known as Babylon the Great America, right? Which is Babylon in the scriptures, and to also preach the gospel unto you zombies out here, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans of indigenous descent, right? So when we, when we come out here and preach, we speak nothing but thus saith the Lord. We speak nothing but from out of this book, you know? So uh, you give me, um, you give me first, uh, uh, first Peter's 4 and 11, and you give me, uh, I want first Kings 22 and 14, you know? So we, only speak out of this book. Whatever this book say, we gonna teach it, you know? Whether it be ugly or whether it be good, you know? So whatever comes out of this book, we gonna say it, you know? So uh, read that over here. This is the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the words of God. Read that over again. I if any man speak, let him speak as the words of God. So any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. What is the oracle, right? The oracle is pertaining to the law. Whatever it is that says the law, we can speak, we speak as the oracles of God, right? Read on. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God gave it. So yeah. if any man minister, we're going to minister according to as our forefathers, according to as Yahweh had taught our forefathers to do so, man. And we don't do anything else, you know? So whatever is contrary to the scriptures, we're going to speak on it. Whatever is contrary to what the Lord said, you know, we're going to The abilities which God given of God in all things to be glorified in Jesus Christ, to whom be priests and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Right. So, uh, that's why we come out. We come out here in the name of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahusha, man. We come out here in the name of the Heavenly Father, and we do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who they did really call Jesus Christ, right? So, give me that priest over here. Book of First Kings, chapter twenty-two, verse fourteen. Hey, brother, you got a minute? You believe in the Bible? Can I show you some in the scriptures? See, our, our people don't have time for the scriptures, man. That's uh, drop that. Give me, uh, give me Jeremiah seven and twenty-seven. Hey, brother, with the uh, the, the, the hat on right here. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, you believe in the scriptures? Hey, brother. I just want one moment, one moment of your time. Just give me five minutes of your time. You see, our, our people don't. He hear me, right? The brother hear me, but he don't want to hear what God has to say. What God, the message that God has to give to him, you know, right? So give me that Jeremiah seven and twenty-seven. Listen to this scripture here, brother. This is this is you, right? Read seven and twenty-seven. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter seven, verse twenty-seven. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. We shall speak these words unto them, right, me? But they will not hearken. They will not what? Hearken. They will not listen. You know, the brothers don't want to listen. Our people don't want to listen to this to these words, to this truth, man. Read. To me. Thou shalt also call unto them. We shall do what? Call unto them. We shall call unto them. You know, I call unto that brother and, and the other brother. You know, I called unto two brothers, but they don't have a ear. They don't want to hear, right, the message that their creator is giving us what they need. But they will not answer thee. They won't answer us. They want the brother wouldn't even want to answer me, man. Right? Me. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the force of the Lord their God. So this is a nation, right? You Israelites, you are a nation that what read? Nor receive it correct. Read that part over again. Uh, this is a this is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God. This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God. Man, they don't obey the, the voice of 
uh, even Jesus Christ, man, who they claim that they believe in, you know? But when the scriptures come out, you know, the Christians flee, right? Flee. Lord, receive it correction. Lord, do what? Receive it correction. Lord, do they receive correction, man? These people don't want to receive correction from their Heavenly Father. Right? Read. Truth is perish. perish. Truth is perish, right? A lot of our people believe in lies, vanity, and deceit. That's all our people care about. Gossip, you know, tear bearing. These are the things that our people are into. And they don't care about speaking uprightly. They don't care about speaking truth, man. They don't care about uh, the weightier matters of the scripture, man. Read. And it is cut off from their mouth. Right? And, it's, and this truth is cut off. It's, it's, it's far from, you know. Right, it's far it from us, man. Right? That's it on that? Okay, uh, give me that piece of 1 Kings uh, 22. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 22, verse 14, and it reads. Uh -huh. And uh, Micaiah, Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, let the Lord say unto me that I will speak. So whatever the Lord said unto uh, unto the prophets, right? Whatever the Lord said, we he gonna speak. So we take example and we do according to how our forefathers, the prophets of old, operated when they was on the scene, man. When when they was doing the work of the Lord, right? So read that over again. It says, and Micaiah said, as the Lord liveth, what the Lord saith unto me, that I will speak. So whatever the Lord say unto us, we gonna speak, right? So uh. Right, give me, drop that, give me uh, Revelation 3 and 17. You you give me uh, Jeremiah uh, 6, 6 and, uh, 16, right? So whatever the Lord said unto us, we gonna speak. And we ain't gonna come out of our mouth and give you our own interpretation, you know? Because the words of the Heavenly Father are plain, you know? The words of the Heavenly Father is true. The words, you know, of the Heavenly Father don't corrupt you, right? It's pure, right? So, uh, you got that Revelation 3, right? Uh, get this over here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter, verse six, chapter 6, verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old path, where is the good way? Read that over again from the top up. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old path, so the Lord is saying, right, thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way and seek and ask for the old past, right? What is the old past? What is our old way of doing things, man? Because how our people operate now in today's modern society isn't how we operated in the days of old, man. Our people didn't used to, uh, uh, they didn't used to go to heathen nations for the one of all things, man. Our people used to have our own society, our own way of living, man. We had our own stores, man. Yeah. So the Lord said, seek ye unto the old ways, right? Meaning, where is the good way? Where is the good way? Read. And walk therein. And walk therein, man. Read on. And ye shall find rest for your soul. And we shall find rest for our souls. We don't find rest here in America, man. Our people are downtrodden. Our people are the most incarcerated in the jail cells, man. And we are the most preyed upon, you know, so we don't have no rest here. Our people have to work two jobs, man, just to make ends meet, you know. And it's and that goes for all the 12 tribes, man. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know. Not just the Negroes who are going through these things, man, but the Hispanics. And you indigenous Americans, you also are going through these things, you know? So uh, finish that out. But they say, said, we will not walk therein. So our people say, right, you Israelites, you Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, what, what, what do they say? But they said, we will not walk therein. So they said, we would not walk their end. They said they don't, they not going to walk in the ways of the Heavenly Father. Read. Also, I set watchmen over you. So the Lord sent watchmen over you, man. We are those watchmen that have been set up and are watching over our people, man. We're watching for you, so we're trying to pull you out of that fire that's coming here to America.
minutes, you're living in Babylon the Great. That was spoken of in Revelation. This place will be destroyed with nuclear fire. Right? You see the things that's going on in Russia and between Russia and Ukraine and Russia is bold and arrogant and said that they have weapons that can destroy uh, cities like New York, you know, with from this man, these are talks that's going on as we speak today. It ain't that much time left to repent, you know, it ain't that much time left to believe on the scriptures, you know. Read on. And also I said watching this over you saying hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet because we out here giving you warning man. Here we go. Much longer the Lord is gonna take his prophets off the streets and then you're gonna be on your own. You won't have the words of the time like you. You're gonna go out seeking to understand, you know, the 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 truth, but you're not gonna find it, man. That's why you have to come and buy all this truth right now while you have the chance. Before it's too late. Read. But they said, we will not hearken. Therefore, ye hear ye nation and know, O congregation, what is among them. Here on earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people. So the Lord is going to bring evil upon this people, man. We are already getting punished enough, but the Lord is going to bring even more evil upon you, you know? So uh, you got that preached up over here. Read that. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 17, and it reads, Because thou sayest, I am rich, and I increase with good. So a lot of our people who who are, you know, of the upper, uh, what's the word? Yeah, the upper echelon, you know, of this society, they speak like this, you know? You got your rappers, you got your entertainers, you know? You, you got your sports athletes, you know, they all speak like this, you know? Read, read that over again. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods. They say they rich and increased with goods, man. They've been talking about their whips and how lavish they live in, you know, the mansions, the billion dollar mansions that they have, you know. Read and have need of nothing. And they don't have need of nothing, you know. They believe and do whatever so please them, right? Read. Right. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable. Read that over again. That thou art wretched and miserable. Thou art wretched, right? And miserable. Read. And poor and blind and naked. They're poor and blind and naked. They, and they don't even know it because they have to go. Give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, 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 28 and, and verse uh, 46, man. Because our people are blind and naked and they have to go to the other nations for the want of all things, man. Read on. Right. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. So Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, he's asking you to come and buy of this water, to come and buy of, of this living fountain, man. Read. That thou mayest be rich. Thou thou mayest be rich because we ain't rich here in America. You can have all the amount of, of paper dollars, bills, you know, you can have all of that paper money, that fiat currency. You can have millions and millions of that fake money, but you're going to still be uh, poor in the eyes of the Lord, man. But the Lord is going to make us rich, literally, right? With real gold, with real precious diamonds, you know? Read and white raiment. And he's going to clothe us, you know, with fine garments, you know? Read. That thou mayest be clothed. That thou mayest be clothed, right? So hold that uh, right there. Give me this over here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be a born be for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So so these curses is going to be upon our people for, for a sign and a wonder, man. Right, read. Because thy, thou service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So we don't serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We don't serve God with, with, with happiness, man, with, with, with joyfulness, with, with excitement, you know, like 
like a boy who just got a new toy, man. We we like we we don't serve the Lord with with that type of mentality, you know. Read for the. For the abundance of all things, therefore shall thy serve thy enemy. Thou shall what? Serve thy enemy. So we shall serve our enemies, right? Yeah, yeah, there's fires in the, yeah. there. There's fires. Uh, yeah, there's fires in that uh, book bag right there. Right. Hey, who? Hey, brother, you got a, word, a moment to hear uh, the words of the Lord? Hey, sister. Sister, you, you here to hear the Bible? Just give me five minutes. I just want five minutes of your time, man, to uh, preach to you the good news, right? She don't believe in the Bible. Hey. They be proud, man. But when that destruction come here, you know, and when famine and calamity come here, right, then she's going to call upon God to help her, bro. Right? But, uh, uh, yeah, go. Isaiah 32, 9. Yeah, get that prince up. But uh, finish this over here. Therefore, shall thy serve thy enemy. So that's why that uh, sister got to serve her enemies, you know? Right? Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent, you know, the heathen against her. He sent these Africans against her. He sent the so-called white men against her. He sent the Ethiopian against us, man. He sent the Arabian people against her. He sent Ishmael. He sent all these people against us because we refuse to repent. We refuse to hearken to his words. Read. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And in want of all things. So in want of all things, man. So whenever we need to go and get something to eat, we have to go to our enemies. Whenever we need to get clothing, we have to go to our enemies. Right. When Whenever we need to get something like as small as a driver's license to, or, or, or a car note, right? To own a car, right? We have to go to our enemies, you know? And this is a, a, a continuous cycle, man. Over and over over again it this doesn't change it is not going to change man until we actually repent and and believe that we are the israelites and, and have faith in the messiah man right right finish that out and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck and so the lord allowed these base men to put yokes of iron upon our necks man even though we physically stronger we mentally intelligent and more superior in them in all ways, but the Lord showed his power. He's able to make the basest men upon the uh, planet Earth rule over the entire Earth, man. Right. So the Lord has the power to do these things, you know? Oh, did he come Elon? <laughs> That's it on that? Yeah, give me, uh, fi uh, finish that out, finish that out. Until he have destroyed me. Until he have what? Destroyed me. Until he had destroyed us and he allowed the heathen, the so-called white man, Esau Edom of the Bible, to destroy us as a nation of people, right? So uh that's it on that. Give me uh Philippians 1 and 20, right? You, you got his precept. Yeah, read that. It's Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. And it reads, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. So the Lord is saying, rise up, ye women that are at ease, because a lot of our women are at ease, man. They rely on this system to protect them, right? They rely on not, not uh, one, one uh, phone calls. They rely on the police, man. They rely on child support and all of these, all of these government uh, assistance, right? They rely on these things, read. Hear my voice, hear the Lord's voice. He's speaking to you women, read, read on. Ye careless daughters, ye careless daughters, right? Hey, excuse me, y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all just have five minutes of your time? Do you know who you biblically descend from? Do you even care to know what God calls you? Hey, even the northern kingdom, like, but they gon' they gon' they gon' find out the hard way, right? Read on. Ear unto my speech. Read on. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. So many days and years, you know, they're going to be troubled, man. Like, for example, uh, during the time of Jeremiah, man, when the Lord allowed the Babylonians to come and sack Jerusalem, you know, a lot of our people were born in Lebanon, but 
and a lot of our women were, were ravished, you know, and, and and taken into captivity, you know. So these things is going to happen again upon this, uh, upon this earth. Be ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. Right, the vintage shall fail, man. Meaning, uh, they way of living, right? Them being able to go out and and to get food, right? Going out to get water, that's gonna fail, right? Them being able to go to the so-called white man for for uh, food stamps and all of these uh, uh, assistance, you know, that's gonna fail too. Read, ye women that are at ease, the uh, be um, oh, my bad, it's like you. The gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease Be troubled Ye careless ones Strip you and make you bare And gird sackcloth upon your loin So the Lord is basically saying Like he's prophesying against them These things is going to happen to you Unless, right? Unless you repent, man Right? Unless you fear the Lord Right? Read on They shall lament for the teats For the pleasant fields For the fruitful vines they shall lament because all of the things that they was able, that they had while they had liberty, it's all going to vanish away, and they're going to lament that they no longer even more have uh, uh, these things. You know, read. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and rear. Right. Yeah, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. Right. All right, that's it on that. Right. So give me uh, uh Philippians one and twenty. You got that? Read that. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 20. According to my earnest, like according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always so now, also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. So in all boldness, man. We out here both, right? Speaking the words of the Heavenly Father. And during, and we're not going to hold our peace concerning the wickedness of our people, man. Read that over again. Verse 20. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. So in nothing we shall be ashamed, right? Read. But that with all boldness. With all boldness. Read as always. So now, also Christ shall be magnified in my body. So we magnify Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Right? Keep read. Whether it be by life or by death. So we're gonna, you know, even if it's by life or death, man, we're gonna uh, uh, die out here, man. You know, we we are willing to die out here for this truth, man. Right? Read. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my neighbor. So we refuse to live in the flesh anymore, man, because we know that it's corruption, that it's death, you know, and it's calamity, man. So that's it on that. Uh, finish that out. Yep, what I shall choose, I won't not. All right, that's it on that. Uh, you got that? The book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 and it reads See Book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 and it there reads See then that ye walk circumspectly Not as fools but as wise So we supposed to work circumspectly man But meaning perfectly meaning Diligently right That's what that word circumspectly means Right read that over again See then that ye walk circumspectly Not as fools but as wise, not as fools, not as someone who's stupid, but as wise, man, man. Someone who has some understanding, someone who's intelligent, right? Re Redeeming the time. Redeeming the time, like watching, always watching and understanding what's going on in their surroundings, man. Whether it be politics, whether it be news, you know, read. Because the days are evil. The days are evil. These days are evil, man. Right. Read. Wherefore be ye not unwise. Be ye not unwise. Read. But understanding what the will of the Lord is. So this is what Christianity have a problem with, man. Understanding what the will of the Heavenly Father is, man. Yeah. There's more than ten commandments that we have right. to do. 
There's six, 600 plus commandments that we must do, man. So, uh, finish that out. That's it on that. All right, with that, I want to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashir, Yahweh, Shah, and pass it on to the next speaker. Shalom. Come on. This is ready. Come to the word.